Hi, my name is Bernard Sheridan from Par Breakers Golf Academy. I'd like to welcome you back. And today we're going to take a look at the swing of Jonas Blix, who just won the Greenbrier Classic at 13 under par. Um, Jonas here is, uh, has a downhill lie, so the, uh, it's a slightly downhill and it's definitely below his feet. So I know that many of us end up running into this type of a lie during a round. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to show the points that Jonas is, is using to keep this ball online, okay, and how through the shot he makes solid contact. So, so many of us have a tendency to, when the ball's below our feet, to top the ball or to hit it a little bit fat because we're trying to get down on it too quickly, okay. So we're just going to look at, take a few pointers from Jonas here and and how he remains in his posture, how he keeps his knees flexed, coming into impact, and a few other things. So the first thing we're going to look at also, which I always like to show you guys, is swing plane and the relationship of the swing in relationship to his original plane at address. Okay, So he has a really good setup here. His arms are hanging straight down. The plane is going right where it should be, right through his, his belt. And out his lower back. Okay, so as he takes the club back, he's really on that plane. And what I want you to notice is, is that the face is closing, very much so. So, and if we see here, let me change the color of this. The face is really shut like that right now. Okay, so because the toe is right here, and it's really being closed. So if we look at that, we can see how that face is closing blurring just a little bit but it is close by this point okay and a big reason why he's doing that is because that's going to help that ball stay on line uh, to go to the flag so whenever the ball's below your feet it's always going to want to leak a little bit to the right so right there is the flag and his original aim point okay if we take a look here is somewhere over here okay which is just just right above that arrow, there is a sign, a CBS sign there. So let's get rid of that one. It's right there, and that's really where he's aiming. So that's, I want to say, probably about three or four yards left of the pin. Um, so a good, a good 12 to 15 feet, maybe, from the pin. So it might be even as much as, as, uh, as five yards from the pin. Okay. Um, so... That, as he closes that face down, it's going to help the ball stay on line more to the pin as he, as he goes through impact. So what I want you to notice is as he drops down and comes right back on plane incredibly, how his knees are flexed and how he's maintaining his posture. Okay, his head, He's really staying down through the shot. Now here's the key. After he comes through that shot, his head doesn't move at all. So let's just draw a little circle around his head here. And I want you to see in relationship what his head does to that circle. Just moves a little bit towards the front of that circle. Okay. But the, his head really does not go above that circle at all past impact until, his, until the shaft comes out of the other side of his body, which is right there is where his head starts to lift up. And the shaft is coming directly out on plane. Okay, so a key here is to keep your head steady in that position through impact, maintaining your posture. That's imperative in this situation. Okay, is to or otherwise you're going to thin the shot. And the last thing you want to do is thin the shot. So really maintain that posture. If we look here, he's maintaining it. There he is at the at the top. There he is through impact. He's really maintaining that posture. And then after that shaft comes out, still has that posture going almost to a full finish until he's done. Then he comes up and out of that posture. All this, okay. As the ball starts out here, there it goes. It's going right at that pin. We can see it blurring right towards that pin. So that was an effect of aiming left of the pin and also letting the face close down a little bit on the way back, stay shut, which is really going to help the, the keep the ball online to the pin. So with these few tips, 
you can try these few tips in your swing and hopefully the next time you're out on the course and the ball is below your feet you'll be able to keep it online a little bit better by keeping your posture letting the face close a little bit on the back swing and maintaining your posture through impact for Parbreakers Golf Academy my name's Bernard Sheridan thanks so much as always for being with us and we'll see you next time Thank you.